Bonjour, it's Jeffrey from Fresh Your Look. Now I don't normally say bonjour in my videos and my French is one to laugh at when I try to attempt speaking it, but at the same time, I miss France. I love it there, I love Paris, I love the south of France, the countryside, one of the best places I've ever visited with the best food I've ever had. And because I'm missing travel so much to Europe, um, I decided to bring some of it to my kitchen and that was risotto specifically. I haven't made one in a while, but the Instant Pot is worth the price of admission alone for making risottos with zero babysitting. It is done in a laughably easy time with little effort. Now you may have heard of risotto, but you might have never tried it. And in case you haven't, let me explain what it is. Think of it as the pasta of the rice world, much like orzo is the rice of the pasta world. And you have to use a very specific rice called arborio rice. You could find it in basically every single market right in the rice section and it's the creamiest most wonderful rice ever it's almost like a like a really nice creamy pasta porridge if you will but don't let that word porridge throw you off it's something very special and I wanted to do one of my favorite classic French dishes which is also quite popular here in the States chicken cordon bleu and turn it into a creamy unbelievable unforgettable risotto so if you want to see how easy and delicious this recipe is gonna be just keep on watching because we're about to make one of the cheesiest decadent and most sublime risottos in the instant pot we oui, we oui, we oui. Wait and see. Let's do it. We're gonna start with one large shallot and dice it up. And by the way, this shallot's name is Jean. And then I wanna take about a pound to a pound and a half of thinly sliced chicken cutlets. Those are just chicken breasts that are sliced into about a quarter of an inch pieces here. And then slice it into pieces about this big, about a quarter inch or so strips. All right, now let's go to the pot and start cooking. So now let's go to the Instant Pot and we're going to add in two tablespoons of salted butter. All right, now I'm coming down to the control panel of the updated Instant Pot Duo Plus. They've updated it a bit. And uh, I'm going to hit the saute button here. And I want to go on high. And now I adjust that on this new model by hitting the temperature button, whether I want it to be medium, low, or you go in the other direction, or high, just like that, simple. Also on the new Duo Plus, if you just leave it there, it's not gonna do anything. You have to hit the start button. And then we hit the start button, and there we go. And once the butter's melted and bubbling, we're gonna add in that pretty shallot. Saute that for about two minutes. And there, honestly, there are a few things in this world that smell as wonderful as shallot sauteing and butter. Just perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna add in our chicken and three cloves of a garlic that I have crushed, minced, or pressed. That's also the equivalent of one tablespoon. And we're gonna saute this in the pot for about another two minutes until the chicken just becomes pinkish white in color. It shouldn't be fully cooked at all. Just pinkish white. All right, and once our chicken is looking like this, like I said, just pinkish white in color, let's move on. I'm gonna add in two cups of arboreal rice, and it has to be arboreal rice for risotto. Just two regular cups of it, not like a special rice measuring cup. And then I'm just gonna stir that around with my chicken and my shallots in the butter for about a minute and let it get a little toasted. And now because this is a French dish and it's cordon bleu, I'm gonna be adding in some wine. A half a cup of a dry white wine, like a Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay, or Sauvignon Blanc. If you don't wanna add any wine, that's completely fine. I do like my rhymes as well. You're just gonna add in a half a cup of broth here. Chicken broth is fine. And then just make sure we deglaze the bottom of the pot from any of the sauteing. Any brown bits will come up immediately with wine. Same with Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. They're both miraculous with getting any brown bits up from stainless steel pots. Now I'm gonna add in four and a half cups of chicken broth. And if you didn't use the wine, you're gonna add still four and a half cups here because you'll have added a half a cup of broth to quickly deglaze the bottom of the pot. So we have five cups of liquid total, four and a half cups of the broth and a half a cup of wine or just five cups of broth. And we're gonna season it up with one teaspoon each of black pepper, seasoned salt, garlic powder, and ground mustard powder. It's really great. You want some mustard in a cordon bleu. It won't be overpowering, it's just a really nice seasoning. All right, so now let's give everything in the pot a good stir, making sure the bottom is nice and smooth. Let's use a wooden spatula for that. All right, great. And now we're ready to pressure cook. I know it looks like there's a lot of liquid. We only have two cups of rice and we have five cups of broth in there, but trust me, that's what you need to make this happen. We're gonna secure our lid. 
Make sure that the valve is in the sealing position, which on some models it automatically will be when we put the lid on. Now I'll come back down on my control panel and hit the cancel button, and then I'm going to hit the pressure cook button, and I wanna go, guys, for six minutes at high pressure. Again, to change that, I hit the plus and minus for the time to go up and down, and then to change the pressure level, all I do again is hit this thing. Either it's gonna be low or high, simple as that. I'm always gonna cook at high pressure. Then hit start, and then that's it. All right, so meanwhile, as the risotto is cooking, let's take a pound of any ham of your choice. This is Virginia ham. You could use black forest ham, honey ham, whatever you really want. And make sure when you go to the deli, ask them to slice it thick for you. About a quarter of an inch thick or so, just like this. And then what I'm going to do, this is a pound again, is I'm going to just dice this up into bite-sized cubes, just like this. All right, perfect. And now that we're done pressure cooking, we're going to perform a quick release. And the pin just dropped, so we're going to take the lid off. And now it might look a little liquidy when the lid comes off, but as soon as we start around, you're going to see that it's just going to become very creamy. And we want a little bit of that liquid in there because we're going to have an amazing addition, of course. We're not done yet. It's not Cordon Bleu without a few key elements here. And that's going to be two and a half cups of shredded Swiss or Gruyere cheese. And I'm also adding in, you know me guys, my Borsin. I love this stuff. And uh, it's French, right? So why not add it in? You could use any flavor you want. It's a 5.2 ounce package of it. I cut it into like six little pieces here to make sure that it easily disperses. Uh, if you don't have Borsin, you can use like an Alouette. You can use Rondelet, stuff like that. You can even add some goat cheese if you want, but that stuff's not really my style. Fun fact about me, I don't really like goat cheese. And we're gonna stir this into our risotto until it all melds and becomes very creamy. A Cordon Bleu also typically has a Dijon element to it, so I'm going to add, in addition to that ground mustard powder which I put in, which again, you're not even going to taste, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard like Grey Poupon. You don't have to add it. I'm going to stir that around. And this is so cheesy and chickeny and amazing. Look at this. All right, a final step to a Cordon Bleu. You need some ham. I'm taking that ham that I diced up and I'm adding it to the pot. And I'm just going to stir it up and mix it in with my risotto. And folks, here we have it. Chicken Cordon Bleu Risotto. All right, I'm gonna plate this up and try it out. Look at how ooey and gooey and cheesy this is. Okay, and there we go, right into a bowl. Look at how nice this is, guys. Look at this consistency. This is a very rich risotto, obviously. All that cheese in there, and this ought to do the trick. And now let's get a fork in there, and we're gonna try this deliciousness out. And there it is, guys. Chicken and Cordon Bleu risotto. Look at how creamy. You see how it just sticks to itself like that? Almost like a rice pudding, well, which makes sense because you'd use arborio rice for a rice pudding. That's how I like my risotto. Creamy and substantial. Here we go. If you love French food, if you love cheese, if you love ham, if you love chicken, and of course if you love risotto, which is the pasta of the rice world, you are going to love this dish. It's going to become your new best friend, your mon chéri. You know what I mean? It's out of this world. Out of this world. Comfort food at its absolute finest. Mmm. Mmm. Decadent. I mean, if you have this as a side on your dinner table, it's going to steal the show. And it's without question one of the best risottos I've ever had. You know, I, I know when you watch these videos, you're probably like, well, he's just saying that because he made the recipe and wants people to try it. And that's partially true, but it's absolutely true that it truly is one of the best risottos and one of the easiest risottos ever. I could eat this every single day. I won't, but I could. Mm. 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 Magnifique. This is absolutely splendid on every single level. Guys, if you enjoyed these videos, check out PressureLuckCooking.com because all my recipes live there, a ton of them anyway. I somehow became a number one national best-selling author with my step-by-step -step Instant Pot cookbook. And uh, I also just came out with the lighter step-by-step -step Instant Pot cookbook if you want to shed some pounds. A recipe like this one won't be in this book, so I just might have to write another book to put this one in there because it deserves to be preserved in a cookbook. Either way you go, you can't go wrong with these fantastic recipes. Hey, also check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash pressurelovecooking, and give it a like. Make sure it's a favorite. And of course, check me out at Pressure Luck Cooking on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Even though I'm just kind of starting it and don't really 100% know it yet, but we'll see if I continue that route. We'll see. I now really want to go to France real, real, real bad again. But until then, I have chicken cordon bleu risotto. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and uh, enjoy.